Hi, welcome to Vince the Vet. Now, if you have purchased a Vince the Vet worm test kit, this short video will show you how to correctly submit a stool sample from your pet so that the analysis performed by the laboratory is accurate. Once the external packaging has been removed, this is what you will find. A return paid postal box addressed to the laboratory. The first thing to do is to unpack the contents. Now what you will find will depend on which kit you have purchased. If you have a worm count kit, there will be a single container with a white label on it. If you have a lung worm kit, there will be a single container with a red label on it. And if you have bought the combined worm count and lung worm kit, there will be both containers. Next, remove all the contents from the postal box. We'll set the plastic envelopes to one side, the rest of the paperwork to the other, and keep hold of the laboratory submission form. The first thing to do is to complete the top section. If you put your pet's name here where indicated, in this case, Fido. Put your surname on the right hand side, Smith, here. And the next thing to do is to copy this code here, the worm test code. It will begin with the letters and be followed by six digits. In this case, COM000002. Copy that below the dotted line because you will need this later on. COM000002. Now, if you've bought a worm count kit, that code will begin WC. And for a long worm kit, it will begin LW. Write the entire code down below the dotted line. Next, cut along the dotted line with a pair of scissors. And place in the postal box. That's the only piece of paperwork to go back to the laboratory. Next, loosen the tops of the container or containers. And then put a pair of disposable gloves on so that you can put your pet's poo sample into the containers. Now, for the worm count test, you need a single sample of your pet's poo. That's all, from one day only. So we'll just get some of this sample here. And that goes into this single worm count kit. Doesn't need to be absolutely full, but a decent enough sample there. Now for the lungworm test, it's really important that the sample contains three stays stool. So you want to take a small amount of sample, your pet's stool, from three consecutive days. You can't miss a day out, otherwise the results will be invalid. So on day one, you have put a little bit of stool sample in there. The next day, you would put another piece in there. And then on the third day, the final piece of stool in there. That's it. Next, put the lids on tightly. There we go, that's the single sample for the worm count. And the combined three-day sample, consecutive days, for the lungworm. Now, 
each container, whether you've got one or two, goes in its own individual grip seal bag. There's the worm count. And there's the long worm. Next, you put the grip seal bag into the larger opened end bag. That's the worm count. There we go, and that is the long worm. Now these go into the return paid postal box with the completed slip having the your pet's name, your surname and the worm test code in only. Next, remove the self-seal strip along here. Seal down, now press the lid down firmly and then sellotape along here and along here. This should be tightly sealed and flat. Then all you have to do is to pop this into the nearest postal box. We're not quite finished yet because the next thing to do is to send an email to mywormtest at vincethevet.co.uk which is at the bottom of this form here. And you will need to include in the header of the email your worm test code, in this case COM000002, hyphen your pet's name, in this case Fido, hyphen and your surname. Now it's really important you send this to us, otherwise we won't have a record of your tests being submitted to the laboratory and we won't be able to match the results the laboratory send us to your tests so that we can forward you the results. If you haven't received the results from us within seven days, please get in touch. Now finally, the results, if the results are all clear, then there's nothing else for you to do. This will be indicated in the email. If any of the results are positive, there is the option of a reduced fee consultation, which will give advice on the treatment options available if parasites are present, or if undigested food particles are found, we can discuss why that might be the case for your particular pet. And this consultation is available online. Now you will also notice there will be other literature in the kit. There's a little bit of information here on our supplements, the Vincevet supplements. There is another on the raw food that we sell. If you've got any questions or queries at all, please don't hesitate to call on 0740 366 3263 or visit www.vincedevet.co.uk. Thank you.